ever wonder how to use these scraping tools and why they work? I'll show you the safe and most effective way next. To answer our clickbait title, is scraping or self myofascial work beneficial? The answer is yes, and here's why. Adhesions. These happen all the time in the body and we want to break them up. They're like glue that you get on your fingers and you need to rub it away to make sure your fingers don't end up sticking together. Adhesions make your body tight and inhibit motion. It's very similar to being put in clothes that are size too small and being asked to move around normally. It's a slim fit. You're going to have a difficult time. These scraping tools help to break up adhesions and get you moving around easily. Scraping tools need to be used with a purpose and cautiously. We don't want to do more harm than good. These pointier looking massage sticks, these Thai massage sticks, are typically used for feet and meant to get underneath bands of muscles and adhesions in order to help the tissues slide and glide like oil and water. These guasal scraping tools are more popularly used for people's faces and scrape, scrape those years of stress and wrinkles away. However, traditionally, you can use these same tools for broader muscle areas. This brand new device we heard about by Ached Away is a version of muscle scraping that takes it to the next level. It vibrates and heats, bringing the old school with new tech. If interested, we have a $25 discount code linked in the descriptions. For all intents and purposes, we will use this high-tech tool for our broad muscles like my thighs. All right, so we talked about the pointier muscle scraping here. Some people use this actually to scrape, but I actually like, because it's pointier and more lengthier, is to find scar tissue. So you can see my old knee ACL surgery. I want to get underneath it, and that's kind of the point of using, you want to get underneath it so it, it, it moves. And you can see it doesn't move well all that way. It moves well this way. So my goal is to break that up. Just kind of free that up. There we go. And so there it is. I usually have to break this puppy up. Any scars that we have, you should be breaking these puppies up every three to six months. So you don't want to let that adhere to the bone. So like I said, you could also do it in the feet here and there's like your plantar fascia, you can get it in there. Some people like want to scrape that. It's really painful when it's not a broad surface, but if you can find that adhesion there, boom, right here, you can see that. Doesn't move well, that moves well, doesn't move well, and I'm just digging in. I'm going to town here, right there. And then, you know, yes, I do do this to myself, not just my patients, I think. So right there, you're getting that, getting that to move. And then there that is. Some people use these other guasal tools right here. So you can kind of use that as an outline. They've got all different edges. You can have fun here. But we're gonna use our fancy, fancy schmancy ached away right here. The cool thing is that it hits vibrate and a lot of you guys can see there's temperature increases. We'll talk a little bit more in depth about this on a product review or so, but I like this because it heats up and it just makes these muscles melt away. And it gets pretty hot here, but the vibrating, you can kind of hear that, it vibrates. You can take that. So what people need to know is just like the massage gun videos, we like to inhibit or facilitate muscles. So let's just take this inner calf, for instance. Usually it's overused right here. So we want to inhibit. When we inhibit, we're gonna go from in from top down or inside out is what I like to say. So I'm just going one direction and it's nice and broad and you want a nice, you're gonna, it's just be smooth. Like imagine if you're vacuuming tile floor, then you hit the rug and it's, so this is the, basically that same analogy. It hits that rug and it's a lot more slow and viscous like. So we want to keep doing that till it starts improving. Notice I'm not just using it willy nilly like some people with their Graston tools. They're just going at it, no real purpose. This is the safer way to do it. We just, oh yeah, there you go. And the heat, oh, I love this. 
just making it nice and easy and opening that up. Now, certain muscles you need to facilitate, so we're gonna use this one. Instead of going just this direction, we're gonna pull it up towards the attachment, which the attachment of some of these adductors, usually they're weak, we wanna make them stronger. So I'm gonna take that and I'm gonna just pull that inside. Now I'm just doing it on dry skin. Some people use oil, that's great too. Makes it a little bit easier, but I like to feel these small adhesions that actually even happen and form in our skin. So I like to feel that burn. You know, burn, baby burn. So we're gonna get that and just, there it is, starting to open up there. And just by doing these two spots, I know my knee's gonna feel a little bit more sturdy. Now this one overused, we can do the same thing where we're just actually just trying to inhibit it. And I can just give that feature, get the vibration in there. It gets a little sticky and murky here. You can see that. And then I gotta push it across. So, and this is a fun tool. I do this on my face, believe it or not. Gotta look younger. I don't know if you guys know, but you know, I'm in my 40s. Hopefully I look 25, but, <laughs> but yes, we do use these as some wrinkle, you know, freeing up those wrinkles. So there you go. You can see that there's a little bit of redness. That's normal. You're going to get some, you don't want to get to the point where you're just causing capillaries to break or anything like that. But that's the gist of why muscle scraping or why working on adhesions really makes a big difference. So. Give that a shot. If you're interested, we'll link this in the description box below as well. Let us know your thoughts on our video and leave us some love or questions in the comments box below. Please like and subscribe. We appreciate your support. I'm Dr. Lin. Remember, we heal smarter, not harder.